Well, we're joined this morning by creative parenting expert Nikki Bush, who earlier on highlighted the dangers of parents simply passing a screen onto a child that is trying to express emotion because what that does is that it limits your child from developing the skill of managing their own emotions. And of course, we're talking about emotional intelligence, which is a very critical part of success in life, right? Absolutely, Kat. Because we do not travel this life alone. Absolutely. We have to interact with people all the time. And that means we have to know ourselves well and we have to learn how to relate to other people. Absolutely. So take us through some of those steps again of what parents can actually do to help improve their child's EQ, help them understand themselves and their own emotions. So first thing, teach them how to delay gratification. You know, children, this generation particularly, they want everything now. And if they okay. don't get it, they become very frustrated. They have to learn to manage their impulses. Hmm. So impulse control is part of being emotionally intelligent. Mm -hmm. And then something that we don't do enough of is what I call reflective or em empathic listening, mm -hmm. which means that we reflect children's emotions back at them so that they learn to label them. So if your child comes in having done a test and studied really hard but hasn't done very well, you need to reflect, I see you looking really upset. What are you upset about? or uh, it might be a child who comes in from a sports match mm. and they say, we lost, but the other team cheated. So you need to reflect. So I, I can sense you're really disappointed and frustrated. Mm. What happened? Yeah. So you open the door to conversation and emotional intelligence is very much built on being able to have this conversation, getting children to express how they feel and why they feel what they feel. Mm -hmm. Let's focus a little bit on that empathy, being able to put yourself in someone else's shoes and understanding how they feel about a certain thing. How does that play out later on in life and why is it so important to help, you, to help your child uh, develop that empathy? Think about being in a business meeting. Think about being in a, in a control room in a war zone. Mm -hmm. Uh, we need to be able to take the cues from how people are actually presenting. So if you mistake somebody's facial cues and you hit the fire button, you know, we could be in serious trouble. So learning to have empathy is a big part of being a human being mm. because we don't all come from the same place. We don't all have the same experiences and we need to learn to be what people wise uh, and that's what it means to walk in somebody else's shoes, yeah. to feel what they feel. Yeah. Well, Nikki, thank you so, so much. And I hope that you at home also paid attention to that uh, very interesting topic. We're talking or emotional uh, intelligence that is indicated by your EQ in life, which is uh, far more important than just your IQ. Well, let us know your thoughts on our Expresso Morning Show SABC3 Facebook page.